What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications, and please go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We also will be live every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. But let's get it popping and let's get into today's video. And today, we got to do a breakdown and a prediction video. We still got our live show tomorrow night, Friday night, but it's a fight on Friday that I that I want to do and I didn't know the fight was Friday I thought it was Saturday so instead of going live tonight and doing all of the damn predictions I'm gonna do this one prediction video for this fight but then tomorrow night all the rest of the fights for this week we'll be breaking them down and we'll be predicting them live but here we go man prediction video Oshaki Foster versus Muhammad Kuja Yakubov bro 130 pound division very even odds on this fight. You got Oshaki Foster, minus 170 for the W, plus 375 for the knockout. Um, Muhammad Kuja Yakubov, plus 140 for the uh, W, and plus 450 to get the knockout. The fight is minus 225 to go the distance. It's a 12-round super featherweight, junior lightweight fight, whatever you want to call it. They're fighting at 130 pounds. Tell of the tape, Oshaki Foster out of H-Town, bro. 5'8", 72-inch reach, orthodox fighter, 28 years old, 18 wins, 2 losses, 11 wins by way of knockout. You got Yakubov out of Tajikistan, 5'5", southpaw fighter, 26 years old, 18 wins, no losses, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting styles, um, Yakubov is a southpaw who likes to use his feet to set up that straight left hand, has a nice right hook. Um, pretty good movement in the ring. Not overly athletic, but a very fluid athlete. So not a stick in the mud. Can move around really well. Um, really, really um, good movement. Like, he's not somebody that you're going to be able to pin down if you're a pressure fighter. And he got good pop on his punches. 10 knockouts and 18 fights. Yakubov looks like a very solid um, top 15-ish um, you know, junior lightweight. Um, he does do one thing that I think Oshaki Foster might be able to take advantage of. Not only does he carry his hands low, because again, he prides himself on movement, being slick. Um, his head movement ain't the greatest in the world, and he can be caught, but he is somebody that relies on movement and is more of that boxer style, so hands low. And then um, his jab, specifically, when he jab, he bring the jab back low. And when you jab and you expose yourself, all that shit is open, all up under here is open, and bringing your shit low all the time, somebody can time your shit, um, you know, with a right hand, left hook, you just open to a lot of different punches when you don't bring your jab back to the proper position. You bring your shit back here so you can protect yourself, bro. Protect yourself, parry some shit if you need to, hold the phone if you need to, but bringing your shit back here, all that shit is wide open, and that's a huge flaw. I believe in Yakubov's game that Oshaki Foster may be able to take advantage of. For Oshaki Foster, man, look, he has, he took a couple losses early, but that man has gotten better and better, and Oshaki Foster can fight, bro. He switches stances when he needs to. He's a highly skilled uh, fighter that's looking to roll with your shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Use that shoulder, give you that shoulder, roll with shit. Throw uppercuts when he needs to. Nice digging hooks down to the body. Uses leverage well to push you up off of him and fight on the inside. Really good from a distance. Jumping in with the right hand if he needs to. The jab is, is good as well. Um, just a really good fighter that does a good job of like being slick, but also not how you would think of a Devin Haney, right? Or he's more closer to a Shakur Stevenson with his slickness. Now, I ain't saying he them. I don't want nobody to misconstrue what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he's he's the type of fighter that likes to be just in range of you and let you throw shit, roll shit, counter shit, make you think he in range, not be in range, throw some shit back, out, back off at you just so he can always get his offense off. He likes to be... In, make you think he's in range while putting himself just out of range enough, hit you where you can't hit him. 
He's also five foot eight. Yakubov is five foot five, so he's gonna have a height and reach advantages of Shaky Foster. To put it into perspective, he's only one inch shorter than Earl Spence Jr. And he has the same reach as Earl Spence Jr. They both have 72 inch arm reach. So imagine a guy fighting at 130 pounds that's five foot eight with 72 inch arms. He can hit you from a lot of different angles, make you think you're in range that you can't hit him from. And so that's why he's good at mid distance. And then what sets Oshaki Foster apart from a lot of people at this weight class is in close, even though those arms are long, he's a really good inside fighter um, as well. So definitely, um, in my opinion, um, you got Shakur Stevenson, you got Oscar Valdez, um, and then even though you got Ogawa, who's a champion, even though you have, um, you know, certain guy, you got Hector Luis Garcia um, and Roger Gutierrez, who are at the top of the WBA rankings. I would have to put Oshaki Foster right there up under Oscar Valdez and, and Shakur Stevenson. They're the top three um, junior featherweights. Um, not junior featherweights, I'm sorry. Junior lightweights, in my opinion. Paths to victory um, for these fighters. I think Yakubov, he'd have to fighting a style outside of himself to win this fight. He ain't really a pressure fighter because he, he like I said, he's at Southpaw, try to be slick, get that left hand off on you, maybe throw that right, um, that right, that right hook at you, use his movement in the ring to try to find different angles to get his shots off. Um, not really a come at you pressure fighter um type of fighter. And him fighting that way, the way that he likes to fight, that could be to his detriment because he doesn't have the reach that Oshaki Foster has. He doesn't have the length. So trying to fight at a distance and be a boxer and shit, that probably wouldn't work out well for him. His his move is going to have to be to press the action on Oshaki Foster, try to use good head movement and good defense and not get caught with some hot shit coming in. Um, so he'd have to change up the game plan for how he's been fighting his past few fights, in my opinion. For Oshaki Foster, um, his path to victory is really... Um, Honestly, he can do it in a lot of different ways. The safer way, in my opinion, is use that length, stay behind the jab, fight inside when you want to. So maybe find your way inside with the jab if that's where you want to be. Once you connect with the jab, you get in on the inside and you get to doing your work and then you get it back to a distance. He don't want to find himself fighting, at the in fighting on the inside because Yakubov was the one to close the distance, if that makes sense, either with his feet or with his jab. So... Oshaki good enough to where he can get he can get on the inside if that's where he want to fight. But I like to see him get in there by landing the shot first, jumping there with your jab. Once you land your jab, now you're on the inside. You already landed your shot, so you dictating what you want to do on the inside. You at an advantageous position. Land your straight right if you're at the orthodox because he switches stances. Does Oshaki Foster land your straight right on your way in there? You land that shit, then now you digging hooks to the body. You working on it, so he can do a lot of different things to win this fight. I can honestly see this fight as a 12-round fight. Um, neither of these fighters have been knocked out, and Yakubov has never even um, lost before. So um, definitely a fight I can see going the distance. Um, as far as who I'm picking and why I'm picking them to win the fight, um, I know the odds are pretty even. Like I said, Yakubov is a plus 140. Um, Oshaki Foster is a minus 170. I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, I think Oshaki Foster should probably be a bigger favorite. Um, I don't think the fight is as close as the odds would have you believe. I do believe that the bookies potentially got this one wrong um, in, in, in judging this fight um, because I believe Oshaki Foster is going to win this fight, and I believe that he's going to win the fight very convincingly. Um, I think he's just too big. I think he's too strong and he's too long, and um, he's more skilled. And for me, that's a dangerous combination. When you got a guy that's bigger than you, stronger than you, um, and he's faster and more skilled than you, it's just you kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like Oshaki Foster's hands are faster, legs are longer. Um, he can fight from a longer range. He can fight He can fight Yakubov on the inside. I think he's just going to present all kind of matchup nightmares for Yakubov, and he's going to have the advantage in every exchange that they go into in terms of the athletic ability and, and, and leverage on shots and, and stuff like that. So I just think Oshaki Foster's, um, just his, his dimensions and, and being so much bigger 
than Yakubov and, and, and so much faster and more skilled, I think it's going to give Yakubov um, huge problems. Now, Yakubov got good power, 10 knockouts of his 18 victories. He could catch Oshaki Foster with some shit and, and possibly change change the tone of the fight. And I think that's what he's going to have to. I think he's not going to be able to land cleaner in exchanges. He's not going to be able to outwork Oshaki. So he's going to try to have to get in there, go to the body, maybe get him tired, and then hit him with some shit up top later in the fight that's going to change the complexion of the fight. But I'm going to go with Oshaki Foster in this fight. And I'm going to say he makes a statement. You know what I'm saying? He just got the pro bellum shit popping, you know, first time there. I think he coming to make the statement. Definitely gonna be in shape. Definitely gonna be ready to go. And um, I got I got the homie Oshaki winning um, late stoppage between round nine and round eleven. I think Yakubov is tough, but I think the combination of Oshaki's damage that he's gonna do on the inside, uh, coupled with outboxing Yakubov from the outside, is just gonna be a little bit too much for Yakubov, and he's gonna succumb to getting hit very very clean as the fight goes on. And then Oshaki Foster is gonna catch him with some shit that he just can't come back from. TKO stoppage, knockout stoppage, I don't know, but the fight just ain't gonna go the distance. Round nine and round 11, stoppage for me, Oshaki Foster. Y'all let me know who y'all picking down in the comment section. Comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, turn on your notifications, go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit me on my email, man, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here, y'all. Peace.